and vows and all the things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This just, uh, this one was beautiful. It was heartfelt and the words were incredible. No, like what Randy was saying, like, I remember, you know, the past and I was like playing. Yeah. I was just going along with like, oh, this is how I have to act. And like, I, it didn't feel natural. And today I was thinking, oh, it's really, really special. Look at the clouds over there. Clouds are incredible. It's so pretty. Yeah. The uh, I was talking to Randy about beach tags, and how crazy New Jersey is about beach tags. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, man, that doesn't happen in California. Anybody goes on the beach whenever they want. Hey, that's why I want to retire and do it. I know, that's a great plan. <laughs> no, this morning was really gorgeous. And it was a wonderful end of our dating and beginning of our marriage. Honey. Yeah, Randy did a great job. Yeah, he did. both of you this morning is that you guys already have a strong relationship. Um, I can just see it. I mean, you've endured a long distance relationship traveling back and forth. And if anybody can do that, <laughs> but you've created adventures together, sharing so much joy and love and so many laughs. So Ryan, do you welcome Sarah as your wife? offering her your love and encouragement, your trust and respect as together you create your future. I do. Happily, eagerly, lovingly. Sarah, do you welcome Ryan as your husband, offering him your love and encouragement, your trust and respect as together you create your future. I do. Ryan, I find it unbelievable that we are standing here on this perfect morning, celebrating another day, witnessing a most incredible sunrise together, about to become husband and wife. As we began this forever journey as colleagues in Maine, then friends across the oceans in time and years, to travels east to west to coast, to the top of a stunning California peak, where we experienced our first sunrise above the cliff tops of Pincushion. Holding each other tightly, me asking and giving you a promise one day if you would be my husband. into my world unexpectedly as a colleague, friend, lover, and now a lifelong companion. As we unite with God in this beautiful, natural church on the coast, where two imperfect people complement one another to a perfection of support, love, understanding, fun, guidance, and friendship, respect, trust, open communication, and comfort. Sarah, my gorgeous, brilliant, sexy, funny, amazing wife. I finally get to call you that. Meeting you in Bangor in 2018 was a wonderful memory where a rich and genuine friendship began. Years passed and unbeknownst to us, God had a plan to have our paths lead us towards one another. I will never forget those sweet inquiries about family, kids, and life. When you and I started texting about meeting in Philly in October 2021, and then when you called me on October 29th, you absolutely changed my life in so many new, beautiful, and exciting ways. Oh, the countless memories we made, I shall cherish forever. In the moments, the sticky notes, the 12-hour phone calls, the beautifully handwritten notes, 
cards and journals, the months that passed, passed, we found our magical space. Sarah, from the very beginning, you gave me honesty, respect, love, friendship, partnership, travels, passion, shenanigans, endless funnies, fun, and adventure. You uh, allowed me to be me and love me for the man I am. We juggled time zones and jockeyed cross-country flights. <laughs> With every conversation, every laugh, every giggle, every shenanigan, every touch, we forged a relationship unlike either of us had thought possible. I promise to make countless memories, ample shenanigans, full bellies, overflowing journals, whimsical watercolors, and delightful drawings with you. I promise to travel to places at your side, near and far, both as a couple and as a family. I promise to love Ryland, Cambria, and Zinnia with all the fatherly love I have in my heart and to teach all of them to live, love, and to laugh. I promise to protect and cultivate our relationship always. I promise to be silly and sweet, smart and savvy, sexy and snuggly. I promise to always be faithful in mind, spirit, body, and heart. I promise to love you with my entire self, no matter what obstacles life throws our way. I promise to carry you when you're weak, to let you carry me when I am weak, and to walk by your side at all times. Sarah, my darling, you are my girl, my love, and my best friend. I will love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> we made it. We made it through the fire. <laughs> Jesus, the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love yeah. for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work along yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. Since Ryan and Sarah have consented to join together in marriage and have witnessed the same before God in this company and have pledged their mutual love to each other and have declared the same by the giving and receiving of rings and fasting of hands, I declare that they are now husband and wife. The God of all love, love has joined you together. Congratulations, you may kiss the bride. All right. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! I love you, my wife. <laughs> Hi, husband. Hi, sweetie. I gotta help you out here. It is cold out here. I'm gonna... No, I'm good. I'm good. I gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Ron. Thank you so much. This is so perfect. <laughs> oh, it's chilly. Thank you, love. Absolutely. <laughs> Poor lady was standing there shivering. Thanks, love.